Animal Children. They call this boy the Coati. His name is strange, and so is he. He laps to drink, digs with his snout. On ground or trees, he runs about. The cute little dogs that live on the prairie were having a party and making quite merry. When Big Dog on watch heard a noise and called, Hush! and into their holes went the guests in a rush. What do you suppose is in Grey Wolf's pack he carries so stealthily over his back? Some chickens, a lamb, and an old mother hen he has stolen to hide away in his den. His manners are so charming and his eyes so very bright. I do believe that we might call young Fox a gallant knight. But then when he is cunning and just a little pert, I'm not so sure that we should call the same young fox a flirt. We just want to ask if you ever have seen a much dirtier boy than this little hyena. He has played in the street at making mud pies till nothing is clean save the whites of his eyes. Bo Coyote sings a nightly tune to his lady fair in the big round moon. She smiles and throws moonbeams to him and he serenades till her light is dim. Tommy and Tilly Badger went out in the field to play. Said Tommy, yeah, I'll teach you. Put down your head this way. Then toss your heels into the air and give a little twill. You can't help turning somersaults, although you are a girl. Miss Leopard Spermophilus, with her high-sounding name, says just to be called Gopher is really a shame. And she's right here to tell you, if this knowledge you should lack, she's the only one who wears the stars and stripes upon her back. Doggy barked and said, what fun, to make that porcupine girl run. Girls for boys to tease were meant, but girls with pins are different. Sir Knight Armadillo, from tail tip to nose, in armour that's sure to bring terror to foes, goes forth with his weapons to his battle ground and looks like a pineapple walking around. <coughs> ¶¶